Hey, what's up guys? We've got another cool kit build. This one is a digital clock complete with a nice clear plastic case. So we've got some instructions in here. Ah, the PCB. Nice. LED electronic clock operational settings. Uses an STC microcontroller. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's do a super fast time lapse build. And then we'll be back and see how it works. All right, so we got all of the backside components assembled. Here you see the uh, chip holder for the STC microcontroller. And then there's another chip holder. What is that one for? Let's see. It is a, oh, it's the clock chip. It's a 1302. We've got a beeper our barrel jack there's the crystal some capacitors the battery holder the two setting switches and the temperature sensor so all this left to do now is to install the seven segment displays right here so let's get on to that Alright, the displays go on the opposite side of the board, and you can see the silk screen for the dots here, and the third one has to be installed in the opposite direction of all the others, which should really not be a problem. These are some big displays, one inch. So hopefully everything will fit nicely and go together well. So far it looks good. It's, uh, change my grip here I'm gonna solder in one on each side first At least I'm going to try to. There we go. Alright, I won't make you watch me solder all these in. I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so we've got everything together now. The displays are on there. Components. All we need to do now is add in the ICs. I'm straightening the legs here on the bench and then we will we'll pop them in. Make 
sure everything's lined up correctly. There's the real time clock. And next we have the microcontroller. And again, this is an STC micro. 15 F204 EA you definitely want to take your time in seating these chips because if you've got a problem here well then nothing else is gonna work oh, see pen a pen I'll be right back okay I got her seated and now we're down to installing the coin cell battery that came with it which is a CR1220 okay batteries in so now let's take a look at the Chinglish instructions Okay, electronic clock, in the case of no electricity. Hold the function keys OK and add key S1, then to electricity, then loosen the two button. Electronic clock displays 59 at 11. Okay, luckily I speak to English. I think what they're saying is hold in the two setting buttons and add power so oops hold on small problem here with the temperature sensor you have to make a slight repair Okay. So if I hold these, <laughs> I'm trying to get the, all my hands in here. Boom, boom, and boom. And we've got 11:59, and now 12 o'clock, which means it's been properly set. So next, I will build the case, and then we'll be back. So there she is, all nice and put together. And you can see that the multiplexing is kind of slow, but uh, to the naked eye, there's no flicker at all. Case went together relatively easily. And if we press the set button, we get our temperature. And I'm wondering if it goes back to time. There we go. Press the other button, it goes back to time. You can see the little thermocouple type temperature sensor on top. I have to say I'm really pleased with this kit very nice everything went together well 
um, it comes with this film that you can put in there to kind of dim the digits down but this is just going to go on the desk so I'm not worried about it being too bright you're going to end up with an extra I think it's 47k resistor because they're packaged 10 at a time and you really only use 9 in this case nothing to worry about there also end up with an extra nut and screw for the case but again there's nothing to worry about I mean I used them all so it's no big deal and you can see the case does have a little stand so it tilts up at a decent angle for viewing the uh, battery backup for the time works well uh, one thing you are going to need to keep in mind is there is no voltage regulator on here so it does require a 5 volt source a wall charger is all you need so that's it I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up comment share and uh, I'll see you next time bye